I get so weak at the knees. I can hardly speak, lose all control, and something takes over me. I wait so many. Want you to stay with me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I briefly want to talk about this subject, and I may go live about it because I think it's very important. And that's this show. Y'all probably like, what? This show. And it's called, um, you know, uh, The Queens of R&B. I know I'm probably on the late show because I don't watch a lot of TV. And when I usually I just watch PBS and um, Finding Your Roots. Yeah, I'm very boring. But this right here caught my attention because this is such a family dynamic with the dysfunction, the projection. And that is uh, the dynamic between Tamika and Latasha Scott. The sisters from, they from Escape, right? The ones that sings everybody's songs. <laughs> and they, right? Um, yeah. SWV. What's the song they sang that, that was the Jones girl? You gonna make me love somebody else. But they, they took one of their songs and repeated it and it became a hit. But it wasn't theirs originally. I can't think. Now, somebody leave it for me. In the dis in the uh, comment section, but I saw this real interesting scene, y'all, and I want to know how many y'all can re relate to this. And Yanni, I hope you comment on this because we talk a lot. Well, we have talked in the past about dysfunction and just how much that disturbs the family dynamic. Okay, and to me, when I saw that small clip. With that child, Tamika, and her mother, and the control, and the dysfunction, and her um, inability or unwilling to say the same thing that she knew to be allegedly true about the theft that happened. And she probably discussed it before with her daughter, but when the when this um, um, golden child came in, <laughs> she decided not to even bring it up. In fact, even project on the uh, uh, Tamika that you know she was crazy and that she never told her that. I've seen that so much in the families. I've even experienced it in my own. Okay, culturally, a lot of us cannot speak on these things. That's a uh, something that we have to get past. A lot of us are still mad at Romeo for what he said about Master P. As if he don't have the right. As if he don't have the right as a grown man now to talk about he didn't like to be under his regimen. Yeah, he's glad he's alive. Yeah, he still love you. But you're not infallible. And I am going to tell you the things that you did that affected me. Because they're in my today. But they happened yesterday. And if you are not willing to deal with that on no kind of level and make excuses, um, then that's a problem. Because healing is a process. But, and, but you have to do your own healing for whatever the situation may be. Okay? And so I noticed that there was a dynamic that Tamika felt that the mom was, she'd been through it all her life. That the mother played favoritism. In fact, let me shut up and let y'all see what I'm talking about. When you and Rocky stole my money, mama didn't say nothing. My checks were cashed in my sister's husband's account. I got evidence. You want to go to jail now? Because he's still on jail. Over $30,000. Tamika, you wow. wrong. Y'all cut the cameras off no. or you can get out no, of here. No, you want to act? You want to cut the camera off? off or you can get out oh, of here? Oh, yeah, turn the cameras off now. Wow. You need to calm down. Mama, you know y'all ain't right. And you want to bring that crap up here? You ain't never got to worry about me coming over here ever again in life. 
I've been dealing with this my whole life. I'm tired. To me, so I'm tired, mama. I'm tired. You so tired. I'm tired. You should have come and talked to me. I've been talking to you about You know they stole my money. Ain't nobody stole your money. You know they did. You know they did. You sit there acting like you don't know. Cut the cameras off. Was your mom angry because you put this on blast? Yes. Because she don't want nobody to know that her precious daughter did this to her sister. I am a human being. You don't want to come and do me like this. It is you got to cut the cameras off. Get out of my house. My mom was angry because I revealed something that no one knew. Not even my own daughter knew. Lord, Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Mama, mama, I gotta go, I gotta go, mama. I gotta, and for you to sit there and act like you didn't know Tasha stole my money from me. You know this, and I was pregnant with our money when this happened. Tamika, you, you know this, mama. I gotta go. Let me go. I don't, let me, I just need a ride. I gotta go. Oh, baby, she deserved an Academy Award. She came with some bull ass. She was on some, you know she was on some bull ass ocean. You know that. I was really praying that it didn't get to this point. I've been going to this my whole life. See, if you don't want it, if you don't give people a chance to be heard, oh, they're going to get you. They're going to get you. I remember um, I was I was very young at the time. It's not funny. But I remember I was so um, disgusted with my mother treating me that way. And I remember we were on a church trip um, and... I said something that my mother didn't like. And I think I told the people on the bus, my friends on the bus, that my cousin had got shot in the eye because he was in a gang. They lived in Pruitt, Igo, um, in uh, St. Louis, right? Uh, or is it Igo Pruitt? One of them. They tore it down. I can't. Back in the day, y'all. I'm, But anyway... And I was so mad because she embarrassed me. And that's what she would constantly do, embarrass me in front of people and stuff like that. And I remember at a young age, I was so upset that when it was time to get off the bus, I wouldn't get off the bus. And she couldn't believe I wouldn't get off the bus. I wouldn't. I, I was so stubborn. I let that ram just come totally out of me and the stubbornness. And I knew I was wrong. And I knew I was going to get my butt kicked. And at that point, I didn't care anymore. And that's kind of like what you saw when you saw Romeo say what he said up to his father. Uh, and what happens is because the parents think that they're, you know, they're, they're perfect and not infallible. Well, I hear Master P saying it on the camera, but I'm sure he don't run his camp. Like he's not perfect. Those are just words that they say. Anybody that's grown up and is a preacher's kid. I get it. Because I'm one. And when you understand the dynamic of that kind of existence. Or a parent with a personality disorder. And they want to project their um, abuse. Because it's a like a pattern to this stuff you can see how it plays out with their projection with their um uh, uh, uh just, just gaslighting onto you making you feel like either the scapegoat or the golden child um then there's the invisible one there's all these dynamics in a family the family clown, the one that makes everybody laugh, and he does that to keep the shit off of him, keep the, the problems off of him, or don't want to see the problem, so he make everybody laugh. It's what a lot of time where your comedians come from, those, under those kind of um, situations. But that's neither here nor there. The Queens of R&B Episode 2 is when you see the Latasha and the Tamika beef 
and I guess this is a brand new show, so it's not that many episodes. You can just catch up and watch it. The bottom line and the end of the day is people who have lived in these kind of environments, it's okay to say your parents made a mistake. It's okay to say your parents are not infallible. It's okay to say, damn, my father was crazy and that was his reality, but it certainly wasn't mine. You know? But I understand the importance of bringing a child up with discipline and uh, uh, rules. I understand those things. Certain amount of regimen. But when you cease to have a voice at all and you have to sit back and take crap, there's a difference. Or when you the scapegoat of the family. You know what I mean? Then you see the difference. And I saw a lot of that in that episode. So, I don't know. Leave your comment below. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I don't know if y'all got a chance to watch it. If you watch stuff like that. This episode was interesting because you saw a lot between the mother and daughter's dynamic of dysfunction. A lot that we can relate to. I think it's on the Bravo Network. So, I'm going to wait for y'all comments. Let me know what you uh, think in the comments section. You like what you hear? Subscribe and share the channel. See you in the next one.